Hallo zusammen, I'm your Vlog Dave. Lost places are really interesting, I think. I'm talking about buildings that were left behind and um, yeah, things alike basically. And they are spread across the whole world. And because they are pretty fascinating, I want to talk about three lost places, three haunted buildings in Germany. Oh yeah. Number one, the Belitz Sanatorium. Built as a sanatorium complex with many different buildings between 1898 and 1930, large parts of the Belitz Heilstätten, the Heilstätte, the sanatorium, have been decaying and dilapidating since 2001. Back then, the former owner of the ground went broke and the buildings became lost places pretty much overnight. Both Adolf Hitler and the former GDR president Erich Honecker were among the many patients over the course of many decades. Today some parts of the buildings have been used for movies because of their quite unique atmosphere. The area is well known for being a very haunted place. Some people committed suicide or were even murdered there in the course of many years. For instance, in 2008, a photographer murdered his photo model there. And in 2011, a homeless person strangled themselves after living there for quite some time. Also, the German serial killer Wolfgang Schmidt murdered two of his six victims near the area. Yeah, that's some pretty hefty or delicate stuff, isn't it? Number 2. Haus Fühlingen Once Haus Fühlingen in Cologne was an old villa and a pretty luxurious property of many different people. In 1884, Eduard Freiherr von Oppenheim, a German nobleman, bought the ground and built this mansion. Up until 1907, the ground was also used and quite well known for successful horse breeding. Over the course of many years, many different people lived there, until the huge building was used as a sleep camp for forced labor workers from 1940 to 1944. Some years after the end of World War II, the public became aware of the fact that a former Nazi judge lived there with a fake identity for quite some time. And after this whole topic went public, he strangled himself in the building. Also, up to this day, a gravestone of a former teacher in the area can be found in the backyard. And after an old lady had lived in the mansion for several decades, the villa has been empty since the year 2000. Ever since then, several suicides were committed in the building. Last but not least, rumor has it the decaying building has also been a venue for some black mass events, so-called Schwarze Messen for occultists. Now if that ain't creepy, I don't know. You tell me. And number three, the Waldniel Hostad building complex. What was used as a place to live and to work for German Franciscan monks turned into a place of death during the Third Reich. Because the Nazi government basically thought of handicapped people as unworthy creatures that weren't allowed to live, they either sterilized many of them or eventually initiated a murdering program for many handicapped people, including handicapped newborns. I won't be going into full detail here, but it's a fact that the so-called death doctor Hermann Wessel killed at least 30 handicapped children there from 1942 onwards. And although this building complex got dissolved in 1943, Wessel continued with his occupation elsewhere. After World War II had ended, the building complex in Waldniel was used as a reformatory, die Erziehungsanstalt and as a British school after that until it was given up on in 1991. Ever since then, many buildings there have been decaying slowly but surely. So I'm curious, did you know about those particular haunted places, haunted buildings? Or do you have like any haunted mansion or anything alike in your area as well? Or do you even know more places like that in Germany? Hmm, tell me in the comments down below. However, in case you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and check out my video description with many social media links and support opportunities for the Vlogdave channel. Well, thanks for watching anyway. I'm your Vlogdave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.